welcome back to Fluttering Butterflies. My name is Michelle and this video is for the British Books Challenge in March. I'm going to show you the books that I read that counted towards the British Books Challenge. Now these books are not all of the books that I read during the month of March. They are only the books that I read written by British authors. If you want to see a list of all the books that I did read uh, during March, I will leave a link down below to my monthly wrap-up on my blog. March was a really busy month for me and I'm really sorry that there haven't been more videos to this channel recently, but hopefully now that March is over I'll get back into the swing of things again. During the month of March, you may not have realised, um, but I was doing um, something that I called Diverse March, in which I really tried my hardest to either read books by people of colour, authors, or books that involved a really strong element of an LGBT storyline. And I read eight books that counted towards the British Books Challenge. Five of those books were written by people of colour, two books were written involving LGBT storylines, and one book um, didn't fall into either of those categories. It was just a book I was really excited to read. So first off, let me talk about the two books that I read on my Kindle. The first book I want to talk to you about is Little Bit by Alex Weedle. This was published in March, I believe, by Adam Books. Um, and it's about this boy nicknamed Little Bit because he's the shortest boy in his class and he lives on this sort of council estate. He sort of um, gets wrapped up in the, the gang culture on this, on this estate. But um, I really, really enjoyed the book. It's the first book by Alex Weedle that I've read. I found it to be really interesting. I really liked the main character. I really liked the whole message that the book gave about, um, about there being possibility and options for these young people who live um, uh, on estates in, in which gangs are prevalent. The second book that um, I want to talk to you about today was called She Wore Red Trainers by Naima B. Roberts. This is a book that I've already read and reviewed on my blog. I will leave a link down below if you want to check that out. I haven't read very many love stories in which the Muslim religion played a large part in it and I found it to be incredibly interesting. The first book that I actually read during the month of March is Secrets of the Henna Girl by Sufia Ahmed. It's about forced marriage. Um, this girl is only 16, I believe. Her parents take her on a family trip to Pakistan. Um, and while she is there, she finds out that um, an, a marriage between her and her cousin has been arranged between the two families. Uh, I was thinking and actually hoping all the way throughout this book that this is a very out-of-date um, book, but in fact when I looked into it more this book was published in 2012 and there are many statistics um, that I found on the web to say that um, actually this practice of forcing both men and women into marriage um, is a common practice even in this day and age. So that was really, really interesting to read. Another book that I picked up in March was Terror Kid by Benjamin Zephaniah. And while I did enjoy it, it was quite a slim book to read. I finished it quite quickly. I felt like the writing style of this book felt a little bit simplistic at times and um, and while it had some really interesting ideas brought up, I would have liked to see them um, explored in a little bit more detail. Now the fifth and final book that I read in this section dealing with British authors who are also people of colour um, is this book, um, If You Were Me by Sam Hepburn. This book is being published in April by Chicken House Books. And it was really, really good. It's kind of a thriller book um, based around terrorism as well. And there are two main characters. It's the story of Dan and Aaliyah um, trying to find answers. And they go ag up against a lot of really scary people and police conspiracies. And it was, it was a very a tense experience reading this book. It was really, really good. I do recommend it. Now next up we have the two books that I read this month by British authors that contained um, 
strong elements of an LGBT storyline. The first book that I read was actually a book that I had started last year but only finished in the month of March and that is This Book is Gay by James Dawson. Now um, if you've seen my monthly wrap up on my blog already you'll know that this is the book that I chose for my book of the month in March and that is because I feel like it is incredibly, incredibly important. Um, this is a sex ed guide geared towards, towards LGBT um, teenagers and also carers and teachers that, um, that would need this sort of information to help out um, the teenagers in their lives. I also read um, This Is Not A Love Story by Karen David. This is the proof copy. I believe this is, is what the final cover would look like. Um, and this book is being published by Adam on the 7th of May. This is the story of three teenagers, Kitty, Theo, and Ethan, and the way that things with their families and their lives and everything um, collide and um, I absolutely loved it. I thought it was a really really interesting story that had some great characters and relationships and it really felt like a love letter to Amsterdam as well. The final book that I read in March that would count towards the British Books Challenge is, um, is Urban Legends by Helen Grant. This is the third and final book in the Forbidden Spaces trilogy that started off with Silent Saturday and Demons of Ghent and it was such a really great ending to this, uh, the trilogy. Um, I felt completely on edge throughout this book. Um, I really, I really worried for the main character, Vila, and what would happen. Um, super, super ending. So that's it. These are the books that I read during the month of March that would count towards the British Books Challenge. Do let me know if you've read any of these books, which books you read during the month of March that would count for the challenge. Let me know, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching.